This video was triggered by post that I saw. And in the post it says that the Kool-Aid only works if everybody drinks it. And what I realized is that a lot of time people on platforms that has nothing to do with any type of development, forward movement or upliftment. Platforms that simply waste time. And I join some of these platforms because I want to be aware of what is being said. That way when I address them, I am coming from a position of knowing. I am not simply speaking from some type of emotions. So usually when I speak on a subject, I've been watching it for a while. On some of these platforms, it shows a lot. It really reveals a lot. It, it shows that the situation is not straightforward, that it is complicated, um, dealing with humans, dealing with emotions and the mindset that the front line is blurry at time and it will be probably even non-existent for those who are not really paying attention. You have to really stay focused, right? And I believe that once you understand certain things, once you know where the finish line is at, once you know what you're after, then it is much harder to get distracted. So at, from seeing this post, I figured that I needed to create a video and actually tie it into some other things that I was thinking at the same time. We have to keep in mind that even the individual who is known for telling lies will sometimes tell truth. Sometimes the most sometimes the most unrighteous person will do some righteous things and you will hear some very positive things come out of the mouth of the most evil and wicked people. So we have to be mindful of that. The unique thing for us, uh, melanated people, right? We we are able to really separate and identify other people from ourselves very easily, right? The same goes for um, Mongol, mongoloid as well as um, the Caucasoid folks, right? And, and it's something to be thankful about. It's a blessing. Right? But the thing about it is that now, after folks realize that they can be spotted coming in or walking into the city from a mile away, after folks notice that they cannot just blend in um, if they decide to embrace a culture or a dialect, then you know they had to recruit some of the locals who really, really blends in. Right. So when that statement say the Kool-Aid works only if everyone drinks the Kool-Aid, I find that to be very wrong because everyone did not drink the Kool-Aid. You just need a significant amount of people to drink the Kool-Aid. The people who drink the Kool-Aid need to be in some key positions. All of them don't need to be at the top. You need them in every sector. You need them in every group. You need them in every exercise. You need them everywhere. You need them to be loyal. They're, they need to be the ears of the community. And the way you control those people is by money. Being the source of everything that's good. Being the source of happiness. Being the source of freedom. Being the source of money. Being the source of morality. Being the source of accomplishment, development, technology. Being the vanguard of that. And have everyone chasing after you. That is how you keep these loyalists running after you. Well, people such as myself, thankfully, we have a lot of folks who still have the blood of the, the ancestors running through them and are observant. And those are the ones who pick their head up. Those are the ones who look around. Those are the ones who ask common sense questions, such as, why is it that 
if everyone is equal that uncle Nigel over here and grandfather Emmanuel who I've seen working their butt off and are very helpful people based on the standards of society why is it that they don't own these key facilities in our community why is it that none of my people own those things why is it that everyone who lends and leads and control everything to this day in 2024 does not share my roots my culture or anything folks we have to ensure that these people who post all this stuff and I'm sure they mean well they are uh, they are just unaware we have to ensure that they don't distract us because they just want to have a good time they finish work for the rest of the day or for the rest of the week they just get a paycheck they're gonna grab their wine or eat some food and there's no vision it's it's like birds find food to eat meat a bird of the opposite sex well in this case today with us um, it doesn't matter if that bird is of the same or opposite sex you find that lover you make kids or you make connection and you live life pay the bills and die no real vision none for a community any talks of community is always some type of pushback that comes with it especially if the talks about the community has to do with regaining an identity or having some type of unity amongst ourselves people automatically look at that as some type of efforts to divide but the funny thing about it is that they're the ones who push a lot of nationalism which caused a divide to an, an already unified people to culture and roots and years upon years upon years of dealing with the same BS. These people have been unified in the Caribbean for years and in the globe in many ways and of course we always had our insider threat and enemies and stuff like that but but you have folks pushing a nationalism thing but they and their people are very much united. They know who they are, they know their roots. So if those people care, why wouldn't they want us to be unified throughout the Caribbean? And you must think that they know what they're doing. And for them to see that so many of us don't understand it and that so many of us fall for it, how could or uh, how can they respect us for that? Because remember, strength respect strength. That's how it is in the in the animal world that is how it is in our world right the fighter who gives the other fighter the best fight gets the most respect when leaders of the new world sit down together let's say when the u.s sits down with china and leaders of africa or the caribbean believe me when i say that the atmosphere the vibe the body language the words the thought process the preparation is very much different about two years ago the US was able to round up multiple African leaders and put them all on a plane all in a bus and ship them out to Washington like little kids have you ever seen anyone do that to a bunch of Asian leaders? Do you think that any African leader can do that with European leaders? So when you present yourself as weak and as feeble, as a beggar, as needy, then the respect that you gain is really just a convenience, one out of convenience. So as soon as it is not convenient to respect you, then that respect goes out the window. We should all try to work towards getting to a point where 
or respect is not being given out of convenience, but it is given because there's no choice. It is too much of a gamble to not want to be in that position. And understand that nobody else in the world wants to be in that position. And we should not allow those amongst us to make us feel comfortable or to make us trust anything that we do not control ourselves. It don't work like that. And one of the key figures in the community who have a lot to do with that is the politicians, political leaders, and um, the churches, because many of them are, are deep in their religion and connected to the church. And the church has been keeping folks in slumber for a very long time. So it's time for the youngsters to shake that up. The bottom line is, it doesn't take everyone to drink the Kool-Aid for the Kool-Aid to work. If the Kool-Aid has something in it that makes people operate a certain way or to do certain things in a community, then they are going to do that. And it will have whatever impact it has. So we need to get realistic out here and understand that life is not just black and white. It's not left and right. It's not up and down. There's lots of twists and turns. Even though someone is going with you or going in the same direction with you for the next 10 miles, it doesn't mean that they plan to go 20 miles or 30 miles. So the first question you should ask them before you start walking is, how far are you going and where exactly are you going? They may plan to go different routes and you can go those different routes, but as long as you end up in the same place, that's what matters. Thank you.